Hello there, welcome to another unlockyoursound.com tutorial with myself Chris Cavalio. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can um, match the tempo of your project to that of an acapella, even if you don't know the BPM of the acapella, and also how to um, basically time stretch the acapella to fit within the tempo of the project, the tempo in which you went in which you'd like to work with. I have this acapella here from my friend Jake, Jake Masca. His channel is in the link in the description. Um, and basically it doesn't fit within my project tempo and I don't know what the tempo of the actual acapella is. So just to show you an example of that, if I click on the metronome now and play it through, you'll hear that it's just out of time. I feel down in the summer and I wish Cool. So, you know, it's that awkward sort of sound really where it doesn't match up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find eight bars in the recording and then I'm basically going to tell Logic, this is eight bars, please shift your tempo accordingly. So first of all, let's find that eight bars. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and then play it through. Whoops, click off. Two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, nine. Okay, so what I did was I just stopped the playhead on what would be beat one of bar nine. And as you can actually see, if I zoom in a little bit, um, I was a little bit late because you can see that word there as it hits beat one of bar nine so I'm just gonna come in a little bit and shift the playhead over that's fine and then I'm going to grab the end of the region just drag it along and then land it on the playhead uh, okay, let's zoom in a little bit more, just going to drag that until basically it's 8 bars of the acapella. And then um, zoom out, select the region and then uh, command U or Apple U on my keyboard until it loops the region perfectly over eight bars. So I'm just gonna play it over, make sure that when it you know loops it sounds okay. I feel down in the summer and I wish somebody would know and I know you just want another so I'ma keep my head on the low Amazing that sounded really really good actually so I'm very confident that that's eight bars of the music itself so I just basically need to tell Logic that that's 8 bars and adjust accordingly so what I'm going to do is I'll zoom out slightly and then I change the cycle region I uh, move that over 8 bars as far as Logic is concerned I make sure I've got my region selected I go to the edit menu I go to tempo and adjust tempo using region length and locators Change tempo of project globally or create tempo change. Globally, I don't want to, an automated tempo change in my project. Thank you. And there we go. It looked like it stretched the audio. It didn't. It actually changed the BPM of my project, which was originally 100 BPM. Now it's at 120 BPM to match the audio. So um, I turn on the click track and play it through just to make sure that it sounds okay. I feel down in the summer and I Wish somebody would know And I know you just want another So I'ma keep my head on the low Perfect. So now my project tempo matches the tempo of the acapella. Meaning that, you know, I can just work to it. I can remix it. I can chop it up and it's all going to stay, uh, you know, in the tempo of the project, which is great. Now, let's say I changed the tempo of the project now. I decided that I actually want to compose now at 170 BPM 
Um, I'm just going to turn off the cycle region. I want to work at 170 BPM because I want to make drum and bass or something. Now, um, now it's off again. So let's play it back with the click. I feel down in the summer and I wish somebody would know. And I Obviously the tempo of the project has changed, the speed of the metronome is faster, but the audio remains the same speed. So the way that we do this is uh, we use something called time stretching, which basically allows us to change the, uh, the, the, the timing or the length of the audio without adjusting anything else like pitch, which you normally would do, you know, if you spin a vinyl faster than than usual it goes up in pitch right that's just how physics works um, but using some clever time stretching algorithms uh, we can just do that uh, without um, uh, without affecting the pitch the easiest way to do that is so I basically want to fit this I want to squash this into eight bars of 170 BPM so what I do is I hold option or alt on my keyboard click drag the bottom right hand corner and then I just drop it at the end of eight bars and here we go time correction can only be applied to uncompressed audio files okay so this is an mp3 do you want to convert the compressed yes if you're using a WAV file that wouldn't have happened okay so I'm just gonna let it do that do that thing and now it's now it's done so let's play it back with the click on I feel down in the summer and I wish somebody would go And I know you just want another So I'm gonna keep my head on the low Doesn't sound great, okay? So at that point, that's when we need to start thinking about the type of algorithm that we use to sort of compute that um, time stretching. So I'm just gonna undo that and I'm gonna go to the edit menu go to time stretch and choose um, time stretch algorithm so I chose universal so maybe I should try complex this time which is great for like you know songs or just very complex material that isn't just monophonic material um, so let's try that again so alt or option hold that down click drag and then time stretch convert some process let it do its thing and then play. I feel down in the summer and I wish somebody would go and I know you just want another so I'm gonna keep my head on the low. Okay, still not perfect and it might be something to do with the fact that I use an MP3 which isn't always ideal. Uh, so that's something to bear in mind but you do have those uh, various time stretch algorithms available to you that will you know, create, uh, depending on the material, will be appropriate in their own ways. You also have the legacy um, algorithms here, which you might find useful for the type of material that you're using. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's also flex time, of course. So if I undo everything and I want to fit this in using flex time, uh, I turn on flex. And then I choose basically the type of flex that I want to use, which, you know, kind of does, it kind of is relative to the material, but I'm going to turn on automatic and see what happens. And there you have, I have all of this material here. So obviously I could go in and move all of the different parts, but because I'm just time stretching one part, I just want to do it that way. So let's grab that again. Oh, whoops, sorry, I didn't grab option there. So option slash alt, click, drag, and see if that makes a difference. Now that it's all flexed and analyzed. I feel down in the summer, and I wish somebody would go. And I know you just want another, so I'm gonna keep my head on the low. Okay, I think that sounded a bit different to the last one. Uh, not sure if there is a difference there at all, or if the algorithm is different at all. Um, but I do find, you know, when you're using Flex, that, that things do differ that way. But Flex also allows you to sort of go in and change in change the timing of particular notes and that sort of thing. Like if I wanted to um, 
sort of stretch this note slightly to fit on the beat there, I can do so. Um, but I have to create those markers first. So for example, create a marker here and create a marker here and then move that note until it fits perfectly on, uh, on beat one or bar two. But if I don't create those markers um, sort of before and after, it shifts everything along with it. Uh, so be careful of that. And the same goes for this one. If I create a marker here, and I've got I've already got a marker here, and I create a marker here, I can move that along without affecting everything as well. So those are the options available to you. So let's have a listen to that. I feel down in the summer, and I wish somebody would know. And I know you just want another, so I'm gonna keep my head on the low. Okay, pretty interesting. So yeah, that's how basically you use, um, uh, that's basically how you can, in Logic Pro, find the tempo of the acapella and match the project to it. And then um, conversely, uh, find the tempo of the, um, well, find eight bars, for example, within the acapella and then stretch it to the tempo of your project, the tempo that you want to work at. Hope that was useful. Let me know what you think. Cheers.